Hello. Um, I'm making this quick video because, well, I've often always made up one of these videos on my birthday, and it is my birthday again. I'm 23 now, and it's Star Wars month because it's May. That's why I often thought when I ever thought of a month of May aside from my birthday. And some friends of mine, you know, they have birthdays in May. I mean, a lot of people have birthdays in May, but, uh, you know, aside from that, I always associate that with Star Wars since May was always when the first three original films came out May 25th, then May 21st, then May 25th again. And then the prequels came out in May, May 19th, May 16th, and May 19th. May 16th is today and is my birthday. Um, however, I did actually see Phantom Menace when I was five on my birthday because I remember they distinctly they had a special screening various places like three days or so before the actual premiere the day everybody got to see it and um, the actual day it came out I remember my mom took me and uh, I remember I would get out of school early to see Star Wars that was a thing uh, every year Star Wars get, came out I'd get out of school early and that was just something that was fun and Star Wars has meant a lot to me. I, if you've watched this channel, you know, all 12 of you, um, uh, right, I'm kidding, I don't have 12, uh, I don't have a lot of subscribers, but that's fine. Um, but anyway, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, I, I love Star Wars, and though Star Wars does not come out in May anymore. I remember they were supposed to start this year. In fact, May 26th, the day after the 40th anniversary, this is Star Wars is 40 years old. After the 40th anniversary, they were supposed to, um, episode 8 was supposed to come back, and then for every year, May would be when they would release Star Wars again. Um, but I forget the reasons. I don't believe they were behind the schedule. I don't think they had to do any reshoots for episode 8 that I'm aware of. I haven't really kept up with the news because uh, the less I know about any new Star Wars film, I feel the better because then I won't be too excited and amped. Um, and, you know, that's how I feel about it. I mean, there are those that are not get all the details about them as you know as much as they can and hey that's fine personally I kinda of think that kind of takes away a little bit from the experience but then again it might not it could for some people that makes them more interested into the story but I'd rather go in not knowing anything Looking forward to something new I haven't seen before, and then hopefully a good time is had by me at least. Um, there'll be those that do like them. Um, but yeah, the 40th anniversary is coming, and um, I'm actually doing commentary over the first six films, episodes one through uh, six, because, well, that was when, as the Blu-ray says, that was the complete site, I don't know if you can read that, because camera and all, but is far away, but basically, you know, the Blu-ray says a complete saga. That's how it used to be, it was only six movies, but now there's more. I wonder when episodes ten through twelve are going to come about, because I know George Lucas had enough to material where there could be, you know, 12 films, but 
When will we see those? Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm sure that will happen. That's inevitable. And then I'll end with episode 12. At least that should be the end. Uh, because, well, that was always the most that you heard of Star Wars as an episodic saga. It would be, episode 12 would be like the last, but, you know, hey. Um, I guess in a way it's like James Bond keeps going, for better or worse, depending on how you look at it. Um, so James Bond of space, though I guess that could be Star Trek, because there's a lot of Star Trek movies. But if they keep cranking them out every year, well then there'd be, then I guess... Star Wars could be considered then a strong contender as the James Bond of, or yeah, the James Bond of space films. But anyway, uh, you know, and then I'll also, uh, and those uh, will be coming. I'm scheduled to release episode four. Will come out on the 25th, you know, the anniversary. Episode 5 will come out on the 26th. The 27th will be episode 6. Episode 1 will be the 28th of May. Episode 2 on the 29th. And on May 30th uh, will be episode 3. And, and then May 31st, I'm going to make... I'll, I'll put up a video of saying why I like Star Wars, why I love Star Wars. And I've, kind of, I've done it in that video before. It'll be more like a 40-year thing, and I want to try and make it, like, I don't know. Everybody that's talked about Star Wars and how it's influenced everything, essentially, since it came out, I mean, that's already been done. I guess I'll, I might touch on that. I haven't made the video yet, so I'm still kind of deciding, but hopefully, you know, few days or so, because um, this this kind of stuff is fun to do, it's spontaneous. I don't have to remember my, mem memorize lines, yeah, memorize lines, that's a hard combination of words, apparently, um, but I, I just kind of want to do something for the 40th anniversary, and I think doing the century, <laughs> Yeah, a week of Star Wars at the end of May be a, a, a good time, fun time. I think so, at least. Um, but, yeah. Uh, that's really all. Just a little update. I haven't made this kind of video in a while. In the corner of the internet, it's just kind of doing whatever. Interestingly enough, that series I started about when you're talking about movies is what I kind of thought about this channel, I know, or this episode, or series, or whatever this is. But then I thought, I'd just talk about other stuff, but you know, there's not a lot of other stuff that is interesting, or at least I think is interesting way enough to putting it in this series. But oh well. Um, meh. A little, quick little update because, well, I say quick and really it's under 10 minutes right now and it's pretty quick. quick it's pretty quick for me and uh, yeah. I hope you all have a good day. Good day. I hope you, you know, all, if you like Star Wars, will watch Star Wars as often, whether it be the special edition or not. I personally don't really have a preference myself. Star Wars, I don't, any changes have been really ever bothered me in the sense of changing the entire tone and storyline. 
that's just me. Also, for the uh, original trilogy, when I'm uh, talking about uh, those, I haven't written in the description, but they are the special editions because, well, those are the kinds that are more widely available to the public that people seem to want to watch because otherwise there's a DVD set of the original long altered cut that people have problems with it because it's not digitally transferred as well and yeah I guess I just thought you know the high quality or the high quality DVD of the special editions is what I would do so unfortunately I I'm sure that disappoints some people, but I was trying to go over for go for what people will probably already have, which was the DVDs and the Blu-rays. Um, any of you have a, I guess you could skip a little bit ahead because there's the 20th Century Fox logo, which from the digital copy it was no longer exist. Except for episode four, since Fox owns the distributing distribution rights and all that forever, so Fox will always have their logo on that film. Everything else, no, it's all Disney, so it just says Lucasfilm. But anyway, I thought I should throw that in there, and now it's almost like twelve minutes. So I think this is a good place to stop, but. I haven't posted this kind of video up for a while. Jared's Kuna. So I thought I'd call it that, but I don't know. It seemed to be a good idea at the time. I'm not going to change the, the title of the series or all of the episodes, so. Yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point, so I should probably shut up and see you later. And, uh, yeah. I hope my birthday was super. And if your birthday is today, happy birthday to you. From you to me. We share our birthday with Megan Fox and Danny Trejo and Pierce Brosnan and Batgirl, uh, whose name, the original Batgirl from 1960. Series of whose name I'm blanking on now. I'll, it'll come to me when I end this video. When I'm not recording, it will come to me. Um, and as well as Henry Fonda. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, man, that's all I've got. Happy birthday if that's. If it's today, or if it's not today, you, and if you're watching this sometime later and it is your birthday, oh, happy birthday to you. Anyway, I'm just going off now, so not some odd tangent. Not really. I should stop talking. Alright, goodbye. That was stupid.